Okay guys, so we told you guys we have a special stuff for tonight. So right now, uh, we have a special guest. He's the creator and writer of his own indie manga called Infinite, The Journey. Hey man! Hey, what's up, Jerry? Can you hear us? Yeah, I hear you. Loud and clear. Oh, you're there, right there. What's going on, buddy? What's up? No much, man. Just celebrating the first anniversary of Iridescent. Yay! Woo! Hey, party time. So we have, we have Lily here, Pedro is here as well, and you're, you're live with us now. Cool. Sweet. Uh, so, um, I was going to ask you a few questions. Um, where are you calling us right now? Where am I at? As in calling you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm here in uh, Michigan, calling from Michigan, all the way up from Michigan, since so, you guys are down in Texas. Yeah, so all the way up from Mich Michigan. So can you intro introduce yourself to the guys? I already kind of give them an introduction to you, but it will be better if you um, talk for yourself. <laughs> oh, yeah, perfect. Well, my name is Jerry Wright. I'm the writer and creator of Infinite The Journey. It's my ongoing webcomic slash manga adventure story. It's about the story of K.O., who is a person that didn't believe in himself, that kind of had destiny knock on the door to propel him into finding his own journey to become a guardian. Hopefully. We don't know yet. That's why you got to read it to find out. That's very exciting. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a great story, guys. I have read a lot of it and it's great. I need to catch up he's, though. He's I'm read some behind. of it. He's not read all a lot of it. He's read some of it. <laughs> <laughs> I read a summary. <laughs> so yeah, we're just playing some pictures so that people can know. But um, what, what else can you tell us about your, your manga, Jerry? Like, well, I work with, I, I'm the writer independently. I pretty much write and fund the entire project, but I work with uh, four phenomenal artists right now at the point, actually five. There's Leah Peroni, AKA P Chan on DeviantArt. She is the concept artist that helps me create the characters and bring them to life. Then there is the pencil artist who is Sebastian Riera, who also works on another phenomenal comic called Space Pop, but he is the lead penciler who has his own product called uh, Shinto. Then there is the Sayo Studio team who does the inking, the toning, and how the colors, which is going to be Project Genpech, Gracia Dimanis, and then there's Diana Yo. Those are the three um, artists that bring Infinite to life from Sebastian's previous work. And we've been going for about four years and seven months, and we just finally finished it into a compilation of the first volume, which is seven chapters, 172 pages, and a lot of money spent. Yeah. People in the comments are saying that they love your art. Yeah, they, they are loving your stuff, Jerry, already, and that's awesome. Yeah. Do we have any questions from the chat at the moment? So far, no. Okay. Everybody's saying hi, oh my god, and I love the art. So if guys, if you have any questions for Jerry, he's going to be here for a few minutes, and just don't be afraid of asking him anything. I'm going to be talking to, to him as well. Um, uh, if you have any questions, please ask. Yeah, I just I just wanted to say, Jerry, you have an amazing team. I I heard about you from Simon and Pedro, but I didn't know you had that that team. I mean, it's amazing how how you have you know everything together and you're getting things done. It's just amazing to me. Yeah, it's funny how it it's funny how it feels like it's more of like running my own comic book company because I have to write the stuff then. Um, be the creative director and then the publisher and the printer and so on and so forth But it's really fun for me because I started out wanting to chase my own dream to show others that they could Create their own that they could do their own no matter if it was in comics or film or TV or creating clothing lines Like this like the blaze brothers are doing blaze brothers call the line coming soon. They always have shirts with their own stuff um, But it's been a lot of fun to work with um, a lot of artists using their talents to help bring my dream together so that we work as like this small community or a small family. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's 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 what I the feeling I get with you and those artists is just that's a that's a big family. They're they're helping you achieve your dreams, which is amazing. And and I like I like the way you 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 display yourself. Like um, you just said that you pretty much do everything but the art. But that is just so much work, and, and it's just doing what you love that is that gets you up at every morning to start working and do whatever you want not whatever you want but what you have to do to to reach the goal that you want to get right you do what you have to do to do what you want to do 
Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You have to wake up, go to work, and you can't wait to get out of work to go to your house or what or your studio and work on the things you love. Like you, you work for your day job to pay your bills. You work your night job to work on your uh, and achieve your dreams. So that's kind of what it is for us as well. So I, I can totally relate to that, uh, Jerry. Yeah, you know, it's funny that a lot of people independently, like, I mean, I've been through my ups and downs of dealing with different independent creators. Some hate me for who I truly am. Some love me for who I am. Some are like, man, he's an okay guy. But at the end of the day, we're all a community and we all are in this together. So being able to know that I started out with Samen and I went into a group of other artists and then to watch so many people want to create their own stories, to follow their own dreams, and to try to inspire and motivate and then just to get entered into another world of a lot of people that are doing the exact same thing is such a beautiful thing because um, a lot of people that I do know that don't believe that they can do it just need to see it. So when they see the proof in the pudding that somebody else that can do it that's down to earth and relatable and bleeds just like them, breathes just like them, it, it feels better to know that I'm not going to be the only one holding this book, that people are going to use this book as their own motivation and inspiration to create their own characters, their own story, because they've seen somebody like me or Pedro or Samen do the exact same thing among the other creators that we have. Yeah. There's some people in the chat that... Uh, take, the, take your mask off. <laughs> Face reveal. Oh, what's up? It's me. It's been me all along. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, there's some people in the chat that are uh, writers, and they don't have artists, and they're wondering how uh, exactly you build your own your team of artists. So how did you build your team? So, yeah, that, that, that was going to be my one of my questions. How did you get started with your journey of, of Infinity Journey? How did you personally... Came, came up with the idea, how, how did you assemble the team you have nowadays? And I, w I would like to know the origins of your story, as, or well, as much as you can tell us tonight. Sure, um, basically it started, um, I was sitting on, um, I was sitting on Xbox Live with some friends and I talked about um, my ideas for so many times, my imagination, and then out of nowhere, I thought of this idea for Infinite that spawned Infinite. Um, and when I brought up the idea, it's kind of funny how it worked because the person that heard me say it said, do you know how much work will have to go into doing that? Are you crazy? And when he said that, like a light bulb went off in my head, like it, it's so crazy, it just might work. Yeah. So, then, yeah. so then it was like, you know what? No, what happened really and the origin for me wanting to be a creator was that I would watch a lot of movies. And the most in the recent movie that pushed me toward this was Avatar. James Cameron's Avatar, I watched that movie, but before I seen the movie, I had it in my mind that it was going to be two different people from two different clans that were warring over land and that was that was actually killing the earth and they came together with their love to show that they were killing the earth and it was going to be something more, much more invested in the characters in the world. It wasn't. And that hurt me because I'm like, man, this could, movie could have been so much better. Instead of me telling James Cameron how to do his job, why don't I see if I can do my own? to create, yeah. to really follow that That's passion. So when I did it that way, I was like, you know what? That's cool. Like, if you guys told me I was going to come visit you, I would already have it in my mind what I thought the house and everything was going to look like, what the trip was going to be like. And then if I got there and it wasn't, I'd be like, oh. And it's just that kind of hyperactive imagination that kind of propelled me into doing this besides wanting to tell film. Mm -hmm. But back to the question, how I found writers where I went to DeviantArt and I scrolled through countless of hours of galleries of photos back and forth, finding artists and messaging them. I probably went through maybe 300 messages, or a bunch of no's, a bunch of maybes, a bunch of, oh, I want to charge $500 a page. Um, it was so much. But the passion that I had was fueled to me because I found a person to create my characters. And that was Leah. When she created my characters, I put them all on the wall in front of me and said, I'm going to make all of you come to life. And that was the driving motivation for me to find somebody. And that's when I found RZA23, the first artist that pretty much thumbnailed out chapters one, two, and three of Infinite before his lack of work kind of pushed me away from him to find someone else. So it's always been a battle to do it. But I will say that it's more of a labor of love. So if you don't love what you're doing and you don't really want to truly pursue it, forget it and give it and put it away because you'll be letting yourself down in the end. There, there is a, a little thing that you just said that kind of, kind of, um, you could say it touched me 
whenever you said that you put the, the your characters in, in the wall in front of you and you talk to the characters, it's kind of like they are really a part of you. They You created them. You, you uh, had the dream of, like you said, I'm going to make you come to life. And it's just so as much part of you as you know the house the car that you have or anything else your they bed are, everything you they, those characters are yours and they're a part of you a part of your life yeah when i create like um it took me a long time to find out how i wanted to create and what i ended up finding out was that i create from here and there are parts of me that leak into the characters like for instance if you look um shinko is more of like the introvert the silent part of me you know, but also the, the big heart, the caring kind. K.O. is the energetic, the protagonist, the inspirational person that I always am. Then this is the fiery, passionate side of me that you cross me the wrong way or you tell me I can't do something, I'm going to blaze a trail to find a way. Mm -hmm. And then you've got the completely playful side of me that just like, life's all about having fun and not taking things seriously, but yet I'm strong enough to take whatever comes ahead. And then the wise part of me that's like, let me calm down and figure things out. How I want to do this. And then Zathor is not really a part of me. He's just a combination of all the favorite leaders that I like. Like Optimus Prime and so on and so forth. So it was more of like a culmination of me is in this image and in these characters. But any story that I created always has a deeper meaning than what it looks like on the outside. Like Infinite is not about a shonen adventure. It's about never placing limits upon yourself to become infinite on your journey to be who you are. Right. Oh wow, that's so profound, man. I, I really love your uh, ideologies and the way you think is is amazing. It really keeps me every time I hear you talk. It really keeps me motivated, man. I'm well, you know what's that. funny is that I feel like I sh I sell I sold myself short with creating Infinite: The Journey as a comic book because people look at the visuals and automatically discount it as a manga or something typical when the message in it is much more deeper than what it looks like. It's almost like what if I took the pictures away and just gave you the words. Like I did for you, you said it touched you in the words. Maybe it would be, maybe it would reach a better message for other people that way versus just actually telling it as a book. But well, I mean, you have all the creativity you need. You could write a novel, but I love seeing the characters, the way they look. The designs are good too. So yeah, it's 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 have different it's versions different. of your product is a good idea. Yeah, that that I mean, the 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 visual of it does say a lot whenever you're reading a story like me i like reading books novels but i also like reading manga and comics because i get a different feeling with each one respective respectively like i get the visual of what's going on and then with the novels i get to use my imagination but whenever you you get a manga or a comic book you see the perspective of the creator of how this story is unfolding in front of them and you're you're sharing your imagination through the comic book to other people yeah 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 it, it, each format has its own limitations of course mm -hmm. there's a number of, of a space a limited number of space you can do when you're doing a comic book you cannot write all the stuff you want to write if that makes sense uh, yes but in in the other hand with um no. In a book, you can write their feelings, how, how, um, what are they thinking at the moment, and you can write that all of that stuff in more in a more detailed way, right? So mm -hmm. it, there, there's good things and bad things, ups and downs for with each format, but I think you have the the potential to do both if you want. Well, to. yeah, but at, at the end of the day, at my core heart, I'm a I'm a very big person on visuals, and it goes back to like my um my own like personal motto, which is um. Creatively, I look to inspire the world through my eyes and become a pillar of light for all dreamers. So it's like I creatively want to inspire the world through my eyes. So I have to make you see it that way. Mm -hmm. Whether it's through word or whether it's through pictures, I have to do it. It's just me finding a profound way to develop and hone the craft to do so effectively to get my message across to you, my vision across to you as the reader. Yeah. Yeah. I, I totally get what you're, what you're doing. I mean, I... I I personally, I haven't, I don't know you that well as much as Simon and Pedro do, but I'm, I'm, you know, me getting to know you right now, it's just, I like you already. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, do we have questions for the chat, Lily? Um, 
I, 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 I read one earlier. Um, I, maybe we should start with that one. It's a funny one. So they, they were asking, would you rather date Karen from Iridescent or Anai from Infinite? <laughs> both. Both? <laughs> Why not both, right? <laughs> ah, that's the best answer. Yes. <laughs> Do we have any more questions? I, I don't, I don't want to deal with either one of them uh, turning one down over the other. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who is more, um, has a more of a temper? I think an, an I maybe? maybe. An I does. Yeah, Karen's a lot more sweethearted than um, yeah. an I. An I's a jerk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because she's a princess. A spoiler. Well, that's not a spoiler, right? Like, that's part no. of the story. Yeah. Yeah, guys, definitely check check out the 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 comic book. It's or the manga is it's amazing. It's yeah. good. It's good. And what can people do to check your stuff out, uh, Jerry? Where can people read the uh, Infinite? I know you have well, physical copies now too. Well, yeah, I do have physical copies. Um, the orders that the per the person the one nah, the orders I have now physically are the ones that people actually paid for and ordered. So. Those are all kind of spoken for, but I'm in the process of ordering more now that I finally got everything done. But if people that want to read it ahead of time now, all they have to do is go to tapastic.com and search Infinite the Journey. Or you can just Google Infinite the Journey and it comes up. Like literally you have my website, which is www.imonehero.com. If you want to read everything from chapter one to chapter seven, tapastic.com has everything right now. Yeah, guys, so you make sure you go and check out uh, Infinite on Tapastic or any of the other websites he already mentioned. We are going to make sure to drop links on the chat so people can check your stuff out as well. And uh, do, do you guys have any questions? Pedro, you have anything you want to add? Or? No, yes, I, I would add uh, to follow him on his page too. I'm just playing it here on the screen. So go like his page and follow him. So oh, absolutely, so yes. You can keep up with his uh, his work see, see if you want to stay updated on infinite go and like the infinite the journey facebook page yeah it's right there guys and we've, yeah. been, sh we've been showing all the pictures and stuff all the promo material you have on the page so people can take a look yeah i definitely got more stuff coming too if you look at the skyrunner creative page that's like the uh label or company company that i represent as far as um my other creative IPs and things like that. I share that with my fellow creator, uh, Christopher Michael Gunn, who, okay. um, is the, who is the creator of Heaven's Lost Rebellion and is actually doing the new story with a new artist called uh, Tumbleweed Vagrant. So more information is coming from those, but following that page will get you there, for sure. Sweet. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, uh, do you have any advice for future writers, Jerry? How you know, you? Um, you know, I, I I come across a lot of writers every day that actually do message me, mm -hmm. and one of the things that I've always found is people always are asking about how to find an artist, and what I've learned, and it's kind of I guess I had a one leg up on the competition because I I'm a I'm in sales, so I learned how to, and I deal with a lot of people every day, so I learned how to approach people respectively, not hey you throws money at artists draw my stuff you peasant you know like artists are humans too but also one of the most important things is that you have to find a way for you and your story to connect to the artist mm -hmm. because if they can't connect to it they're not gonna they're not gonna give you the full potential in your vision so you have to find an artist or find the path that's best for you if you can't find the artist don't get frustrated find a way to better hone your craft for you and your writing abilities because you don't need pictures to paint the picture for what you want to tell. You can use words and find a way to get it illustrated later. You might not be able to find an artist in the comics, but what if you did a novel and finished it and had certain scenes that were very important to you illustrated? What you have to do is focus on not putting yourself in the box of being just a writer, but become a creator. Find a way to create what's best for you in the best way that you can and be versatile. That's why I used the moniker of hero, because a hero can't get placed into a box. A hero can be anything. So if you can find your greatness that lives within, you can do anything that you want to do. And you can even be a rock star like Pedro. All right. All right. That's that's awesome. Um, any final words you want to say before we, we have to go? 
before we have to end your interview, Jerry? Um, my typical, which is going to be greatness lives within. It begins with you, it ends with you, but most importantly, it starts with you. So you have the greatness in there. The world's waiting. So go show them. Seriously. I want to see more stuff. God very, bless you, very, Jerry. Very inspirational words. Guys, listen, to, listen to Jerry. <laughs> he knows what he's saying. Yeah. And Jerry, thank you so much for being here with us, at least for a few minutes hey. tonight. Anything I could do for you guys, man. You guys have been there with me since the beginning. I love everything that you guys are doing. Thank um, you. you guys work really hard every day, regardless if nobody wants to pay attention to it. I'm watching, and I know the world's waiting on it. You take your time. It's quality over quantity. So you keep pushing out your content. You keep having the amazing support of your family, and there's nothing that will stop you ever. Oh, thank you so much, man. That means a lot to us, and and thank you for being here, man. And uh, let's give a shout out, a, a bunch of claps for Jerry. Uh, he was here, he's the creator of Infinite. Hey, Iridescent is out. Check it out. Link in the description. You will give me what I want. You will like this video and subscribe to the channel. You watch the video after all. Now click on that red button or I will show you the dark side. Now go.